morning, Percy. Did I tell you about the time I dug up a whole hoard of Roman coins? Uh, I think you have, Marion. Sorry. I've got cars to deliver. Bye. Gordon, let me tell you the story of the time I unearthed the fossil of a woolly mammoth. Not today, thank you. The Express waits for no story. Thomas! Hello, Marion. You never finished telling me about the time you dug up that treasure chest. Wow! There were rubies and emeralds and a giant diamond as big as your... Ooh. Goodness gracious me. I found something. It looks like a water pipe. <laughs> a pipe? Nonsense. This is a mast from a Viking longship. I'm pretty sure it's a pipe. What a discovery. <laughs> Nothing a good shovel full of mud can't fix. Bust my buffers. Marion must have broken that water pipe. And now it's leaking. That could be dangerous. Marion, you did dig up a water pipe yesterday, and I think it's leaking. Nonsense, Thomas. I told you it was, um, just some more pirate treasure. It's, um, quite common on Sodor. I thought you said it was a Viking longship. Did I? Are you sure? Oh, look at this lovely thick clay. It's quite extraordinary. Marion, you must come. All right, Thomas, if you insist. It's perfectly fine. Bouncing boulders! Look out! your help today. Next time I dig up a water pipe, I'll tell someone. Is it mud? No, it's a chest of pirate treasure. It, it is. is? No, <laughs> not really. It's mud. <laughs> so, do you think anyone would mind if I took that Christmas tree over there and gave it to someone else? Someone who really, really needed it because he didn't have any Christmas decorations at all. No decorations at all? Not even a bauble. Then you should definitely take that tree and give it to your poor friend. Good morning, Reg. You're early today, Percy. I know, because as well as all this scrap, I've brought you a special gift. Just a little something to cheer up the scrapyard and... Wow! What's that noise? Oh, old trees like that show up at the scrapyard all the time. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge and a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love said to me, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, oh, what was that? I'm sorry, Percy, but I'm not sure I need cheering up. And, well, to be honest, I'm really rather busy. Percy chugged all around the island of Soho, trying to find the perfect <laughs> gift for his friend at the scrapyard. <laughs> But no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't think of anything. More lovely scrap? Yes, more lovely scrap. And most particularly, this is just what I need. <gasps> Reg. Your Christmas tree looks fantastic! 
Ah, oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, Reg, that is amazing. I told you, nothing round here goes to waste. Now, before you go, you said something about gifts. Oh, yes, that. I'm so sorry, but I didn't get you. No, no, I have a gift for you. Thanks, Reg. Well, after seeing my Christmas decorations, I thought you might feel rather left out. Merry Christmas, Percy! Thanks, Reg. Merry Christmas to you too! The engines were struggling to keep the track clear. <clears throat> the snow is too heavy. The main line is blocked. I'm afraid we won't be able to run any more trains tonight. But what about Connor, sir? And the passengers waiting on the mainland? What about the last train? It looks like the last train will have to be cancelled, Thomas. Uh, exactly. That's what I was about to say. <clears throat> Thomas is right. You must all work together and clear the snow to help Connor and the last train for Christmas. Yes, sir! Look, Thomas. Do you think it's... Harold! That's Harold the helicopter! Diesel was right. The last train will have to be cancelled. Whoa! What's that? Plowing from the other direction. And now the line was clear for Connor's last train. Thank you! Who? What? Oh, sorry. It's Harold the helicopter, actually. When Connor raced through and released the last slip coach. But it didn't stop. Connor had uncoupled it too close to the station. Luckily, Thomas was there to bring the coach and the passengers back into the station. Thank you, Connor. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to you too, little boy. You have done a great job tonight, Connor. Thank you, sir. Yes, of course. It is thanks to all of you that the last passengers got back to Sodor in time for Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir! Merry Christmas, Harold! Percy seemed sad about something. Oh. oh, no, Salty. I was just thinking about my old friend Gator. A monster! A monster! It's coming this way! It's the monster from the clay pits! When Gator first came to Sodor, he gave Percy a real fright. Oh! Hello. <laughs> that be no monster, Percy. That be an engine. But now Gator had gone away, leaving Percy missing his friend and feeling sad. Ah, I bet your friend Gator wouldn't like to see you moping around like this. Being brave is not the same as not feeling scared. Being brave is about what you do, even when you do feel scared. Sorry, Thomas. Mustn't stop. Otherwise, I'll start thinking about... Oh, never mind. But don't you need to be coupled up? 
No thanks. I've got to keep busy so I don't think about anything. Uh-oh. Then there was trouble. The troublesome truck started racing ahead. But the trucks were going too fast to stop now. Percy was scared. Being brave is not the same as not feeling scared. Being brave is about what you do, even when you do feel scared. Percy remembered what Gator had said to him, and he knew he could do it. He could be brave. He could go into the dark tunnel. Hello? Hello, trucks. Where are you? Deeper and deeper into the tunnel he went. Wheel turn by wheel turn. Until, at last, Percy saw some shadowy shapes ahead of him. Oh, Percy! Help! Help! Who was out of here? We don't want to be all alone in the dark! The trucks were very happy to see Percy. They were frightened, too. Come on, you troublesome trucks. Let's get you out of here. Percy had done it. He had rescued the trucks. Percy knew he shouldn't have rushed off with the troublesome trucks, but then he smiled. He realized that it was Gator's wise words that helped him to be brave and rescue the trucks all by himself. Hello! It's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more!